Do you have an Ideko account? Well, if you live and work in Japan and you don't have an Ideko account, you might be missing out. Let's talk about it. So what is Ideko? Well, Ideko stands for Individual Defined Contribution Account and it's basically a self-managed pension. How it works is you put money into Ideko each month, the government gives you a tax break so you can reduce your income and local inhabitants taxes and then you choose which investments that money is invested into within your account. So who should use Ideko? Well the main thing with Ideko is that there's a really nice tax break but your money gets locked away until you're 60 at the earliest. So if you're not planning to stay in Japan until retirement for the long term, you might not want to bother with an Ideko account. If you're a US citizen, Ideko accounts invest in Japanese mutual funds. This could be a problem with the IRS because they are classed as PFICs. Now it's a bit of a grey area as to whether Ideko accounts are exempt from that PFIC reporting requirement or not. It hasn't really been clarified by the IRS. So people who want to err on the side of caution might want to avoid Ideko if you're American. So how does Ideko work? Well, every month you pay in a set amount of money. You can decide how much. The minimum is 5,000 yen a month and the maximum depends on what kind of job you have or what kind of nenkin you pay to be precise. So the lowest monthly contribution is for public servants, teachers, doctors and people who are in a kyosai and currently they can pay in up to 12,000 yen a month. This is going to go up to 20,000 yen from September 2024. The next level is 20,000 yen a month and this is for people who have a corporate pension, corporate DC pension. They're also paying into that. They're limited to 20,000 yen. Normal employees who are paying into Kose Nenkin would have up to 23,000 yen a month they can pay into Ideko. And people who are self-employed or own a small business who are paying Kokumin Nenkin, they can pay in up to 68,000 yen a month. And the money that you put into Ideko is pre-tax income. So what that means is it reduces your income so that when you calculate what kind of income tax you owe, you owe less tax. So the amount you put into Ideko comes off your taxable income, reduces your income taxes, reduces your local inhabitants taxes. It's a really nice tax break. Once you've set up your account, you've decided how much money you're going to pay in each month, where that money is going to be invested, it all happens automatically going forward. So unless you log in and change anything, you don't really have to think about either court at all. It's just going to happen month in, month out, year in, year out, and then, you know, 20 years later, when you reach the age of 60 and you log in, you check your Ideko balance, you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. Ideko is not quite tax free, it can be. The way Ideko works is you get your tax break when you put the money in, and then when you take the money out, it's treated as Taishokukin, so a retirement bonus. And that has its own special tax break that's a little bit complicated and we're going to go into in a future video. But for most people, Ideko will be pretty much tax free coming out as well. Now, now this week I was playing with a compound interest calculator thinking about what might happen to my Ideko account for the next few years until I retire and I was pretty impressed with the results. I'm going to show you them in a minute. I also did a calculation for someone who was just starting out with Ideko. So they didn't have an Ideko account, they opened it this year and they put money into it going forward and what kind of results they might get. I think you'll find it very interesting. So first of all, let's look at my Ideko account and how it might perform until I retire, so for the next 19 years or so. Right now I have 2.4 million yen in the account. I've been paying in for as long as I've been able to. Initially I was in a cure site, so I only had 12,000 yen a month I could pay into Ideko, but since I finished working last year, I've been able to pay in the Kokumi Nenkin allowance, which is 68,000 yen a month. Now I put in 67,000 yen a month because I'm also paying Fuka Nenkin and that takes away a thousand yen of my Ideko allowance. But 67,000 yen a month is very nice. As you can see, 
by the fact that I've managed to build up a 2.4 million yen pot already. Now I'm going to continue paying in 67,000 yen a month and I'm going to do so for the next 19 years. So right now you can pay into Ideco until the age of 65 as long as you're paying Nenkin. I plan to do that until I'm 65 so I'll be able to continue using Ideco to reduce my taxable income and to build up my investment pot. Now for the calculator I'm assuming a growth rate of 8%. This is the historical growth rate for the world stock market and in my Ideco account all my funds are invested into world stock funds. Now when I actually calculate my financial projections going forward I use a lower rate. I normally use a 5% or even a 4% rate of growth just to keep it conservative because I would much rather be pleasantly surprised than come up short. But today for the purposes of this video I'm going to use the historical rate of return and assume that the world stock market is going to continue growing at the same rate going forward. So once we plug all these numbers into the calculator we hit calculate and we end up with 43,680,000 yeah, now this is pretty stunning. I wasn't expecting this to be quite as good as it is. But it just goes to show you the power of consistently saving and investing over the long term. 43 million yen is a huge amount of money and it would be enough for a normal retirement just on its own without even thinking about NISA, about Nenkin, about the UK state pension and the other things I'm doing to prepare for the future. Well, that's all very well, you might say. You know, you have have a fairly substantial Ideco account already and you're able to put in 67,000 yen a month. I haven't got an Ideco account, I'm a salaried worker, I pay Kose Nenkin, my maximum Ideco contribution is only 23,000 yen a month, what good is that? Well, I did the calculations for someone in that situation as well. So here are the assumptions for the calculator. Zero funds to start with. This is a new Ideco account. We're going to pay in the maximum 23,000 yen a month. And we're going to assume that this person is 40 years old. So they have another 25 years to pay into Ideco. We're going to use the same 8% growth rate. And when we hit calculate, we end up with 20 million 177,000 yen. Now this is also pretty stunning. A much lower monthly contribution, slightly longer investment period, but a very decent amount of money. So a few years ago, the government released a report that said that a normal married couple would need about 20 million yen's worth of savings to supplement their nenkin to have a normal standard of living in retirement. And there you go. Just from paying in 23,000 yen a month, you can reach that goal using an Ideco account. And what's not included in the calculations is the tax savings. So you're going to be paying less income tax just by making these monthly payments into Ideco. And you can use that money to spend or you could put it into a NISA account and grow your investments even more. Now Ideco is slightly complicated so if you're still feeling a bit lost and you'd like more information you can ask a question in the Retire Japan forum or you could check out our guide to Ideco which is available now through a link on the site. We're also working on an updated version of the guide and anyone that purchases a guide will get all future editions for free. We're also planning more videos on this topic. So if you want to make sure you see those videos, please hit subscribe below, like the video, and let me know if you have any specific questions in the comments below. So how about you? Are you using Ideco? If you are, please go to the compound interest calculator. I'll leave a link in the description and run this exercise for yourself and then post your numbers below. So what is your Ideco account going to look like when you reach the age of 60, which is the earliest you can take it out, or the age of 65, which is the longest you can currently pay in for? Let us know in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.